Hello, and welcome to lesson number six of Beginning Drum Set Beats 102. This is Josh here with Part-Time Drummer, and today we're going to continue on with our series and our studies. And the main focus of this lesson here is continuing to build coordination with 16th notes uh, on the drum set specifically using the bass drum. All right, so here we are at our written portion of the lesson, which the intent is to strengthen your reading and writing skills. So uh, let's get started here. So in lesson number six here, uh, we like to start off with just writing out the counts and explaining the beat. So let's go ahead and get that started. Just looking at the uh, exercises here with a quick glance, it looks like we're playing everything uh, with a hi-hat. We're going to be using all eighth notes. So that's one thing that's going to be consistent and good for you. Uh, <clears throat> Eighth notes on the hi-hat are counted as one and two and three and four and. So we will do that for all four measures. This here means to repeat the previous measure. So we will do that. And then we actually probably want to go ahead and repeat the entire exercise all over again once we get through there. So you really be playing the exercise a total of eight measures. Um, I like to do about 65 beats per minute as a starting speed for metronomes, which I highly encourage that you use to play. Also, we're going to set the snare drum as being on 2 and 4. Which leaves us with our bass drum which like I say, we're using 16th notes. So this would be one, you see it adds up with the bass, uh, hi-hat there. Rest on two, but we're gonna play the E of two. The way we know that it's a 16th note and an E is because it's got the double tag. And then three. And then on the E of four again. Okay, so it'd be one, 2E, 3, 4E. That bass drum is going to come right after your snare hit, but it's going to come before your hi-hat hit. All right, so that's that's kind of where it gets tricky with 16 notes. you got to make sure that you know where everything is adding up. See, that's where our 3 adds up with our hi-hat. Like I said that's going to be right in between there. <clears throat> if you need to slow it down, um, even slower than the 65 beats per minute or even cutting the metronome off temporarily, that is okay. Um, I was thinking too, maybe I should explain how we got the E. Let's see, we're in 4-4 four, four time, I didn't say that. So we know we got to, we have to equal up to four in the measure. You can see here on the hi-hat pattern it equals four because we have one and two and three and four hand with eighth notes. But we're doing sixteenth notes on the bass drum. So quarter note would count as one hit, but you have E and a, uh, which is silent. This is a sixteenth note rest, which was count as one. You have the E of two, sorry, that'd be two E. This is the eighth rest, so that would count as and a. Uh. And then you repeat. So that's how we got the 16th note if you really wanted to know, which you do need to know so that you can be able to write exercise of, of your own in the future. All right, continuing on to the next exercise, we're still going to be using eight notes on the hi-hat. And if you've uh, taken our other courses, you will know that I recommend 
doing this exercise for all of our materials so that you can um, really get a good grasp and understanding of how to read and write drum music. Again, we're on two and four for the snare. And this is a tricky one because essentially it's the same exercise as this exercise. The only difference is I wanted to show you an alternate way of writing this um, this pattern because there can be various ways to write them especially when you're using um, software based programs there can be different ways to write them no, uh, either of these is correct like I said it's just either what software program you're using or how you're choosing to write it whichever makes more sense to you but it means the same thing uh, and this they're combined but this is the snare drum and this is the bass drum line so it's the same exercise one two e three four e and you can see they add up in the same places where that bass drum note is becoming between those hi-hat patterns and it's right after that snare pattern okay so that is that exercise continuing on the next exercise here still working with the eighth notes on the hi-hat which we'll be doing a lot of it's probably the most common pattern used for the hi-hat just straight eighth notes this uh if you didn't know already means to repeat that whole phrase all over again all right so eighth notes on the hi-hat snare drum still on two and four so our bass drum pattern these are going to be eighth notes it'd be one and two e three so we're really hitting that e hard the first couple exercises here getting used to it and it's just going to repeat um that too like i said it, that's actually your snare drum so don't get that confused it's a bass drum pattern your bass drum is down here so one and e three one and two e three like i said that's the four right there but you don't actually play that two as a bass drum pattern the, the actual bass drum pattern is one and e three and then like i said this means to repeat it one more time it's just a a space saving time saving symbol just means repeat this measure and then once you Get here you repeat the entire measure all over again actually the entire line there okay all right so the next exercise Okay, um, snare on this, still on two and four. We'll mix that up real soon here, don't worry. All right, for our bass drum pattern, we're gonna really up the technical, physical level on this, on this exercise. We're doing a lot of 16 notes here, very busy bass drum pattern, <clears throat> trying to build your skills and abilities on that bass drum getting that foot stronger so I have one and this is the uh the dot plus the tag means this becomes the uh so this would become so this is the first the one is with the hi-hat but this uh 
is right in between the hi-hat of the and of this and the two of here. So it's going to be right in between there. Sort of like the E, but at a different place. So slow it down if you need to get that really uh, solid before you start practicing and using the metronome. So that's one, uh, there's the two. Here's an uh again, followed by eight notes, three and, which you notice match up here, four, E, okay? So the bass drum pattern would be one, uh, a three, and, uh, or one, a two, a three, and four, E, okay? I'm hoping that at some point, if you've been through all our courses, that the the intention of this is that you can actually start hearing what this pattern sounds like in your head before you even play it. Um, that comes with a lot of experience and doing this a lot, but that's my intention and goal. But uh, if you can't hear it yet, that's uh, why we have the live demos, which will be coming up here shortly. Continuing on. All right, so now we're going to mix up that hi-hat pattern a little bit, and we're gonna make it a little more complicated for you. So the hi um, no, sorry, the hi-hat pattern is gonna bring the same eighth notes, but our snare drum pattern is gonna change. So for snare drum pattern on this exercise, we're still gonna be in the two and the four, but for this measure, we're gonna throw an uh in on the snare drum. So again, you can see that is falling in between these eighth notes. So just be, make sure you can get that stuck in there. And here, our snare drums back and forth again. Our bass drum pattern will be a little bit simpler. So we'll have one and two, uh, three and four E, okay? just so you can see it all written out. That's kind of what it's going to look like. Just remember though that this is snare and this is bass drum. So one and two, a three and four E. And then the last exercise we're going to do for this lesson Back to using um, some patterns for the bass drum, which will be pretty foot intensive. Uh, we're back to two and four on the snare. So our bass drum pattern would be one, uh, and, <clears throat> and E. Okay, kind of weird. So one, a two, and, and four E. Like I said, just remember that this is your bass drum pattern here, not to mix up with the snare drum pattern. One, uh, two, and the rest on three, but play the and, four, E. One, a two, and three, and four, E. All right? So there you have our exercises for lesson number six. Like I said, I recommend that you spend some time writing these out. You can do it digitally like this, or you can print these things out and do it with a pencil. And uh, coming up real soon and next will be our live demos where we'll show you actually how these things sound. All right, so good luck.